Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope y'all are doing great. Welcome in. It is raining here in my neck of the woods. So, oh, if the power or something goes out, I will not be coming back just so y'all know. Um, <laughs> there we go. So I have a few things that I think we're going to get done today. We'll see. We shall see. Good morning, Heather. How you doing today? Hopefully well. I was thinking about you the other day. I was like, when is she coming, you know, to this area? So today what I thought what we'd do, I watched Wondering Dreamer 555. Good morning, Tony. How you doing today? Hopefully well. How's the weather? Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I have a physical therapy appointment at 11 o'clock and you know I can be long-winded I was going to come on early but I was like yeah no I ha I don't have that much to discuss I think we should be able to get this stuff done within the x amount of time I'm going to be making a masculine card really quickly uh so I just took one sheet of paper and I cut it down to four and a quarter by five and a half roughly what what do we say when it's not approximate? Approximate. I don't understand that, but you ain't got to explain it to me. I just don't get why we say approximate if it's not that actual number. See, it's all jacked up. That's okay. So I'm using the kit from, what are we in? This is May, June, May, a March kit. And I can't find the little cover sheet. It's the March kit of the month. A good man and some butterflies is what it's called. I'm going to be using this right here. I watched Wondering Dream of 555's five, 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 <laughs> uh, snooze it or use it. And we chose some of the same things for our snooze it and some of the same things for our lose it, use it, snooze it or use it. And she said something that I found to be very profound. She said she could not come up with a card on her own besides case in one. And I went back and I thought about this card, even though I did come up with a concept, so to speak, this looks just like the card on their webpage. They have the feet print going around and I just cut this out. But as I said in that video, I didn't like the other uh, sentiment about a good man. Don't be a good man. In order to be a good man, you got to be a good man. Some, something like that. I didn't like that one at all. But I do think that this won't be going to my uncle for Father's Day. But I want to try and make another one. And then I went online to see if they had already did this on their site as well. And you know what? The one that I had in mind is similar to that one as well. It is... Just some backsplashes and the boots. So, I don't know. I don't get paid for sharing the link with you all, but just so you can see where we are, um, what what was going on. And I thought I would use some brown colors. As I said in the video, it's really not much masculine stuff. I, I want to say that I'm never really impressed. Like, oh my God, this is such an amazing masculine kit or masculineness from that particular company because it's always very niche it's very specific um i talked about this before my rusty hinge lid falls off i know that mr holt said that they were designed like this but when you live in a clumsy craft world which is my world this is not good <laughs> hi sherry how you doing today hopefully well I am doing, I am, I'm really trying. I'll just put it at that. Leave it at that. Okay, so that looks, we did some stamping off. We did a little bit of a seasoning the stamp. I um, I went to the doctor yesterday, my regular doctor that I see once a year. And I got my lab results, which were great. <laughs> I got my MR. I results not the best. <laughs> my my I have musculoskeletal issues, so my bones are fine. Right, the the structure of the bone is fine, but I have pain. 
And he says, well, I'm going to send you a consult, another consult. He sent a consult, but my insurance company canceled it. And he was upset with the insurance company, which he has every right to be because I saw him in February. Yeah, February, I believe, for the issue. So overall, with that, I'm okay. I got a shot yesterday. But overall, the weather is doing a number in on my body, I think. So I'm moving. If You know how, I'm not sure what your elders told you. My elders were born in the 50s, right? My mother was born in 55. My aunt was born in 61. So they got from my grandmother, who used to always say, just keep living and you'll see. You may not understand as a young person, right? You may not get that as a young child. But as an adult, that statement just does something, right? It means so much more. The more you live, the more you do things, maybe the more pain you have. I don't know. I could be. But yeah. I am just chugging along, chugging, chugging along. And right before I started crafting, I was gathering everything up. I was going through everything that I need. We need to make this a great event. And I was like, why don't you just put this up? And so I'm not sure if you all are a distracted cleaner or a distracted crafter or a distracted person in general, right? Like, if distractions are your middle name, then we are probably related in some kind of way because I um, went into the bedroom to put some stuff up and I got distracted. I was like, oh, we cannot do this today. We cannot do this today at all. Yeah, I was telling myself, we cannot do this today. Go ahead and do what you need to do and get out I started moving stuff picking stuff up getting ready I was like oh yeah tomorrow blah 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 like in my head I'm going through all of my checklists for the next day which if you have checklists that you do I don't have like I don't have a planner I don't write anything down I just have my cell phone for medical dates you know dates on the on the phone in the calendar and I, I think that's why I don't have um a true calendar. I tried it before just to see how it felt and I I can't. I when I was younger I had a calendar. I used to color it, all kinds of pictures, and then I started writing things in there. And, and people was like, what does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm like, oh you shouldn't even be going through my calendar. But it was so cute. It was Opus and Bill. If you know who Berkeley Breathe It is he is we're going to use this dollar tree eraser i couldn't find my other one so i broke down and bought a new one you know how i feel about buying dollar 25 items i only buy them if i really 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 yep no it didn't work i thought it would but that's okay um it's not that serious but oh boy I grabbed the wrong one. I thought I grabbed the blending tool. That's okay. We always have the other side. Ooh, well, send in pictures and I can share with the group. <laughs> I'm only joking. Send me the pictures, though, for real. Um, I have to go to the Dollar Tree today, actually. I need to... This week is Teacher Appreciation Week, so if you are a, uh educator... Thank you so very much for putting up with these knuckleheads at school. We moms and dads, grandparents, aunties, uncles, parental figures appreciate you so much. Um, if I could give you all the things that I would like to have to give you, educators, administration people, I would, but I can't. So thank you. We'll have to do. Uh, we're going to cut this card down. I see. Yep. Actually, you know what? We're not going to cut it down. I got something for that. Hold on one second. Mm, I might be on to something. Hold on. Um, but yeah, I remember when COVID first happened and I was like, before COVID happened, I was like, I'm going to homeschool. I've always discussed homeschooling with um, 
the big roommate, right? And so, but I don't want to do homeschooling solo. I want the big roommate to be active in that process. And if you all have spouses, other parental figures, you may be the sucky one. And the other parental figure may be the amazing one. And by sucky one, I mean, you don't do the disciplining. You don't do the punishing. You don't do the let me check your homework. You're the sucky one. (laughs) You know, you're the cool parent at that point. You're the I'm going to tell mom or dad on you because you've made the kid do something, right? So I am the person that always gets told, I'm going to tell dad. I'm like, tell him what you think your daddy going to do to me. I wish your daddy would, you know. That's me, uh, sharp tongue crafter over here. But then I'm the mean one because um, Chris in the chat, she has uh, a child that goes to school and they're friends, right? And um, he always says, I want to go to Miss Chris's house. I say, oh, you think she nice? <laughs> She's not going to let you get away with stuff either, child. And he kind of looks at me like, yes, she would. I'm like, whatever. You're going to stay here and suffer the consequences of this parent because you're not going to go and stress her out. But he always tries to uh, assume that my house is the worst house to live in because I'm so mean. Yeah, footprints. Uh Uh-uh, I am not getting no more kids. Good morning, Frosty. How you doing today? Did I say good morning to you, Chris? I think I did. But good morning, everyone. Welcome in. We're going to be doing some projects today. Now, let's see. I should have made this in mud print, this color, but I chose not to Um, because I don't know if this brown is going to actually look good on here. I hope everyone's doing well, despite the weather, despite the crazy that's going on in the world. I hope that you all are being as safe as possible, making wise decisions. Wise choices, whatever that means, right? All right. Heather, I could not figure out what ink blending was the other day. Two weeks ago, I think. I was like, if Heather was here, she'd know. She does it all the time. And then Deb was like, ink blending? I was like, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. But I was like, it's another word. But it's definitely ink blending. I was trying, but it's, um, it has something to do with ink blending. I was trying to take three colors and blend them in without a seamless ice here and feel like Dookie. Wow. Because it has some really strange sunshine. We're having that today. I'm making the unwise choice of shopping at Dollar Tree today. Haha, <laughs> brain force are catchy. Yes, I couldn't. I still couldn't remember what it was because I know it's ink blending, but I was trying to make it like seamless and it didn't work. Listen, I um, I had a sandwich this morning, so I need to get bread for the sandwich for the child who doesn't eat my sandwiches and takes a whole sandwich and throws it in the trash. So this morning I was like, you know what? Here's your lunch. Everything but the sandwich was in there. I said, this is what we're going to be doing from now on. Because I refuse to keep sending food to school that you're not going to eat. And he's like, I'll eat it. I said, yeah, I'm going to tell the teacher to let me know if you actually ate it or not. And then he kind of looked at me like, I'm not sure how I feel about you right now, mom. But this is definitely encroaching upon my uh, whatever, right? My privacy. And I was like, they're going to tell me. I know that you take a bite and throw it in the trash. 
because I'm not sure if they're not hungry, they don't have enough time to eat or not. But lately, he, I don't know. Then he comes home and he's ravished. He's like, I'm hungry. Can I have this? Can I have that? Can I have that? No, you can't. But I'm hungry. I'm like, you should have ate at school. That's what I send you to school for. What's your lunch? So then yesterday he brought the lunch home. He was like, I had my sandwich already. I'm going to eat my sandwich for home. I'm like, okay. In case y'all wonder what that squeaky sound is, that's my chair. Turning. Turning. Turning and burning. I did that. Hold on. I tell mine that I have people that tell me exactly. I did that at school and the teacher took me to the office and had to call my mom and dad and tell them I threw the sandwich in the garbage. I was in trouble. It was dried beef. Still can't eat it to this day. Oh, well, you know, I think that if it's the food that you can't eat, if my son was like, and he had a valid, if he, if he had a valid reason to not eat it, I would be okay with it. But he doesn't. He's just being a snot. So we're going to cut this down to five and a half. By four and a quarter. And I'm going to cut this down some. So I have to retrim it. Yeah. You know, food isn't cheap. And then I'm rushing to the store to get him food and he's throwing it in the trash. That bugs me. Like, don't waste food. And I and I I'm a very reasonable person, despite what um Barry Crafty or Chris might think. Very reasonable when it comes to that kind of stuff, right? So if he was to say, if he had a valid reason for not liking it, it would be different. But he just like, it's the cool thing to do. So I think he's gotten it from other people because at home he'll eat the sandwich. So Lord, I have two party bags I do not need in my car. Oh, I need, did you send pictures? My phone didn't light up. That's all I'm saying. Oh, she did send pictures. My bad. Ooh. That is nice. That's so you. I would get, well, I wouldn't get it because, you know, I'd be right, complaining about it being. So I wanted this to look a little bit different because the card is so simple and plain. Um, let's get us a sentiment. I do like this one as well. But I think with this, I was going for more like a painted mess. So we're going to finish this up and then we'll put the boots on top. And I got an idea for how we're going to do the boots. So just give me a second. But we're going to, you know, I like to make cards. I like to have at least one completed project to say we didn't sit there the X amount of time we did and waste all this time with this person because they were talking so much. Um, and today, you know, we have a few projects that we need to get done. All right, what's the other name? of? So the, the name of the, the stamp that I told you I don't care for, it says, a good man is something you do, not who you are. I don't get that sentiment. So I don't want to use it because it just doesn't make sense to me. A good man is something you do, not who you are. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, it just doesn't sound right. It just sounds... I don't know. If my head was in the gutter, it would sound more gutterish uh, in that sense of the word. But it says a good man... 
A good man is something you do, not who you are. I don't know. Maybe being a good man is something you do. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry. So, and maybe someone can explain it to me. A good man is something you do, not who you are. Nola, so I have no idea. All right, so we're going to move this over here. My sentiments stay crooked. <laughs> they stay crooked. I think we're going to put the sentiment... Inside the card, I don't know. Let's go ahead and glue this down first. I went to Michael's to look at these glue things, right? Because actually, you don't need to go to Michael's and buy new glue if you already have the regular Aileen's glue, right? You could just take one lid off and put it on the other one, so you don't need to keep buying them. But I... I thought the price had went up by a buck i mean it's still a good deal but i prefer i could have sworn i got them for a dollar 99 so i don't know maybe they were always three dollars because now they're 2.99 i think i can't remember i'm gonna check real quick they're trying to say that your actions are what make you a good man you're not automatically a good man just because you're a man Chris, if you had to write a whole paragraph to explain a, a sentiment, I feel like you need to go back to the drawing board and work that sentiment out just a little bit more. Like it needs to be fleshed out just a little bit. But I could be wrong. Everybody else besides Chris got it. So, you know, <laughs> I get the sense, I get the thing, but the sentiment just, just don't sit well with me, darling. And these are prefabricated A2 size cards. Not always. Sometimes they're a little bit bigger and or smaller. So, yeah. Have y'all ever watched an accident happen? Like a, for real, you've seen somebody back into a car or somebody get hit. If you have, did you turn away? Did you turn away? I always tell that to my friends, right? When we discuss crazy things. And I always say that in life, you're okay. In general, We'll watch a train wreck as long as we're not a part of the train wreck. I've been watching a lot of train wrecks go on lately, y'all. Or seeing the aftermath of the train wrecks. It's very interesting to see. Also a bit on the weird side. So keep that. Just be careful, y'all. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. I think this is good. Let's see. Car accident, yes, yeah, very ugly where the car flipped and I still remembered it to this day. I was on, yeah, exactly. See, so I, I'm thinking we can put thanks for being a good man. So let's go ahead and stamp that out. Yeah, I um always tell people, um, that when people are spiraling out of control, we'll watch them spiral up to a certain point, right? And we're like, whoo, thank God that ain't me. Or you hear a story, you're like, whoo, I'm glad that's not me. Um, but then when it becomes you, it's like rough. It's a rough situation. And I'm quite sure we all have somebody in our friend circle that's crazy. For real, not for play. They have things going on. Their life is just out of control. Their situation is 
just really hard. Um, I've been in train, in tra- you know, reference train wreck car accidents. Um, I remember when I was a little girl, upside down. Great. I'm glad we stamped it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And my aunt was mad and we were in the middle of the street and she ran into this big tree destroyed the car but this is old school time right and after it was all said and done everybody was out the car and they said that they was looking for me and i was sitting on the side of the car now i tell you all these stories not because i like telling crazy stories right i tell you this because i tell y'all i feel like my um guardian angel is a guy and he allows this craziness to happen to me and then whoever his boss is is like listen because i don't think it's like god guardian age i think it's you know supervising between they're like hey you about to get fired we're gonna put you on food detail or something because i tell you i've been in so many train wrecks so many acts you know nonsense happening and i feel like he's just like this this bro on lunch he'd be on lunch a lot sometimes you're like she got it. I trust her. Cause I'm not the kind of person if you tell me the fire's hot, I'm not gonna go touch it. I trust you. I believe you. But if I don't know it's hot, I might touch it. Um, the big roommate was cooking something on the stove, and he had the fire blasting right. And um, it was another pot handle dangling off the side, so I moved it. Maybe he's trying to get your attention. Sherry, don't say that. And I went to grab it and the metal part got me right here. And it's a small bruise, but it's it's almost completely healed. But I just feel the sensitivity of that burn right there. And I always think that the my guardian angel is a guy, because I think for the most part, female guardian angel is a little bit more cautious right they're like oh no she's about to go out and do something stupid let me knock this whole container of food down so she doesn't do this or he doesn't do this right but males in general tend to be a little bit more that'd be all right kind of people (laughs) yeah i do think my garden angel's a guy though for that very reason she got it. She'll be all right. I said it because, you know, it's raining here. I normally don't drive in the rain, but I need to run a few. I want, I don't need to. I want to run some errands because I am getting ready to go back on a self not go anywhere type of thing besides, you know, get the boy, go to the doctor, you know, basic stuff. Because lately I've been kind of haphazardly, that needs to be cut shorter, traveling around the city and the people here in this wonderful state seem to be losing it quicker than normal and summer's approaching. I don't want to be a part of that. I think angels are men, Michael... Yeah, see, and there you go. So now you know. They just let us flounder out here. All right, there we go. I'm going to slide this all the way over, though. Yeah. I like that. So have y'all been seeing a lot of Timu stuff lately? All I see is two two T. It does explain a lot, Sherry. Um, Timu ads, right? Everybody has been doing Timu hauls. Everybody's talking about Timu, and I'm kind of jealous. I'm gonna tell you why I'm jealous. Y'all know why I'm jealous, don't you? I haven't been going to Timu. I ordered something one time, and that was that. Oh, come on tape we're going to use this Vicky Booten tape yeah I feel like you know 
they out there playing, goofing off, and we out here playing and goofing off, and somebody's about to meet their maker. <laughs> Without getting too deep and serious, I have uh, I've had conversations with very crafty about things like that. And how I feel like the garden angels are guys. Like they come through at the end, but sometimes some of your pain and stuff, the suffering that you do probably could be reduced. Because I always tell people I'm not good at reading signs. I just ordered $130. Sherry, what you buy? Please tell me. Not that I'm judging that $130 worth of stuff because I have a shopping cart full of crap. I just haven't clicked the purchase yet because I always I haven't seen any good hauls. Um, I've just seen regular craft hauls and I'm like, I got that stuff already. I don't need it. But what I want to buy, you know those little books with the pages in there, like the vintage stuff? I want that book. This is crooked. There we go. So yeah, that looks good. All right, now let's keep it going with this thing. We're still going to work on this. Sometimes accidents happen and there we go. Yeah, Chris, I don't get I don't know why they made that sentiment like that. Very crafty out here shopping. Let's talk about the stamps from um the Dollar Tree, y'all. Have you seen them lately? They are cute. I want to say I feel like they are um American craft stamps. They kind of look like an American craft stamp, but I, I saw one that has the little aliens on it and I want to say that's a um, hero art. So I'm not sure. I am not sure. Oh, we used this one already. We haven't used this one. How many artists have you made, Sherry, from there? I've seen somebody do like three or four hauls in days, days apart. But I do know, not saying that anyone in here is like that, but some people haul for fake. Like they'll haul and then take back. They'll return it to the store. I haul and keep. Did we not do it? We didn't use this one. We didn't use that one. I keep seeing this little washing machine that they show on the previews, like when you're watching YouTube videos or whatever. And I'm like, please, I don't want that little baby washing machine. <laughs> That's just me, though. All right, let's go. See what happens when we come in with a plan, y'all? We just mow it down right mow the crafts down not a person mm, nice all right Good morning, Samara. How you doing? Hopefully well. Hopefully you had a good weekend. Oh. Do y'all like thrifting? I like going thrift shopping. B 
busy. Ooh, are you getting ready for summer? I want candy. I want candy. All right. I'm going to drop some paint on the shoe. Blue. In my head, this is what I think will work, but we'll see. I wish that I was busy doing. I wish that's what I was busy doing. Painting. Working. I'm confused. I missed something. I zoned out a little bit. In my head. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, getting ready for summer. Oh, yeah. I want to go on a road trip, a little road trip for summer. You know, just like get in the car, pack some clothes, um, get a few snacks, and just kind of cruise. With no real destination. Just an end spot and a return spot. Of course, home would be the return spot. Maybe. It might be time to go get that milk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, let me get a brown color pencil. I was thinking I should have colored first. Is what? Is what? What is what? I'm confused. Okay. Sounds great, except the part about getting the milk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Well... You know what getting the milk means. I'm going to store and get some cigarettes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm going to go to store and get cigarettes. You know, the kid be like, my dad. Usually it's a dad. Every now and then it's a mom. My dad went to the store to get cigarettes in, 18, 20, in 1983. He still ain't came back yet. It's 2000 something. That kind of story. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I haven't got the milk yet. But today I got to get bread, so you never know. Today might be the day. I'm just making small circular motions. <sighs> yeah, I feel like... Um, my son's old enough to be able to understand that you got, you know, 
We had drove to South Carolina, North Carolina. South Carolina. I think it was South Carolina. In 2018, and he was still little, and he wanted to get out and play. I was like, you know, it was unfair to him because we chose to drive, but we was trying to get there and come on, you know, get to where we're going. Now the big roommate's like, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere with her. I'm like, who's her? You will address me as a, a, a regular person. Don't call me no her. He said, because you'd be like, ooh, ooh. I said, stop driving like a maniac. I won't be ooh, ooh. And... I'm just giving this boot a little bit more um, definition. Shoot. I don't like the way he drive anyway. I already have motion sickness problems. He's like, I'm not riding with you anywhere. I said, I'm not riding with you anywhere. We even. I'll meet you. The joys of coupling, right? You miss road trips? I don't like road trips. I just want to be there. And hence, why I don't go places. Listen, can we talk about Tuesday morning, y'all? Like the end of a cheapskates era is coming soon. I feel so bad. I feel bad for employees of businesses that close down. Like, I don't know. And, you know, we run in there like vultures and we got to buy everything up. I remember my first encounter with Tuesday morning. And I was like, do you have this in the back anymore? These in the back? And a person looked at me like, this is not that kind of store. I was like, oh, it's a discount store. So y'all don't have them, huh? And it was like, yeah, I was like, okay, then, thank you. It was a nautical thing, paper pad. And that's before I actually had started crafting. So, yeah, thank you, Tuesday morning, for feeding the beast. I tell you, they introduced me to a lot of companies I would have not known about if it wasn't for Tuesday morning. My mind's eye. Um... Crafters Companion, not Crafters Companion, uh, yeah. American Crafts and all of those people, Pebbles, all those people. Yeah, I feel so bad for the employees. The companies usually can bounce back, right? That's why they, well, they can't quote unquote bounce back, but that's why they usually file for bankruptcy in, in general to try to save some of the money from the company. But I guess we should have saw the writings on the wall when they closed down some of the companies in 20, was it 2020. And then it was like, oh, we're closing down underperforming stores. And I've made, not friends, because I, I only know one of the managers' name, but at the two stores I normally go to, they know my son and they're very nice. And, you know, I feel bad for them. But I was like, well, Tuesday morning closing down. That means they'll probably be sending more stuff to like back to Marshalls and Ross and things like that. But, you know, we had kind of stopped going to Tuesday morning anyway because of, and by we, I mean y'all, you know, us, we had kind of stopped going there anyway because the prices had started to change and things like that. So. 
I think that's good. Let's put this up. Sadly, these boots are not really good candidates for um, the scanning cut because they have a lot of opens in them. So like I traced around the boots, you would have to trace around the boots to get a good cut on this with the scanning cut because it's a few openings on there. If you were thinking about stamping these all out and then cutting them. Because I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't see these as being, oh, I really want to go and get these boots to make some masculine cards with. I think I much prefer masculine cards with the guy that has like his hand in his paint in his pocket on his pants standing there or his hand in his like chest area uh all suave and debonair versus let me clean up this mud track I didn't track in the house. Like this right here would make me mad. You know, yeah I stopped buying things at Tuesday. Yeah. I was tempted to go there yesterday. Was I on the street yesterday? Or Sunday? Sunday, I believe. Um, only because with them having 10% off, it's Teacher Appreciation Week. And I was like, ooh, that could be, you know, some savings for me in regards to that. But I don't know. I'm not even curious to what's going to happen to Tuesday morning employees at this particular spot that I go to. Hopefully they have something lined up for them. But I'm curious to see what they're going to put right there. Because right now it's a um, Dollar General, a thrift store, and then Tuesday morning. No, Dollar General, a thrift store, a karate spot that closed down. Tuesday morning, a furniture store, and then some a taco spot. So I'm very curious if um, they're going to try to put another store there or they're going to try to expand that furniture store over some, maybe. In that one particular area. And another spot is the Home Goods. Not Home Goods. What's the name of the... It used to be uh, the Pottery, Pottery Barn. They changed it to something else. Home at home, I think they changed it at home. So it's at home Tuesday morning. A sneaker spot and something else. So I'm curious to that spot. I feel bad. That store is fairly new. It's like under like five, six years. All right. So where's our boo boo? There we go. Let's ink the edges up really quickly. <laughs> I'm not sure about you all, but YouTube's algorithm... And the way I get notifications from people, it doesn't work. I haven't been getting like notifications from people that have posted videos. Let me just trim this down a little bit. So I don't know what's going on with that. Like if I don't see the video post when it first comes out, it's a no for me. I don't get it. Can I cheat the system? No. The system's like, you will not cheat us this time. You will use another sheet of paper. You might think that you could cheat the system. But you can't cheat the system, darling. I'm going to use a blue background because why not? Five and a half. Four and a 
quarter. Let's see if this card base is going to lend itself to those measurements. <laughs> Nope. That's all right. We'll just cut it once we glue it on there. Need to trim this down some more. Trim it down some more, baby. Let's get ready to rumble. So, anyone have any crafty plans? Um the schedule hi pink bay how you doing today you changed your name i felt like i needed to make things easier Hmm. Well, why don't it say pink is other best? <laughs> oh my goodness. I actually like this card like this. If I had used some different colors, some brighter colors for all of that, it would have been good. I thought about it. But short and sweet is better. <laughs> that's not that's not always true. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just burnishing this in on all angles. <laughs> this uh card base that we used the blue background, the blue dot background is so thin. So, 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 so thin. That That's, you, you gotta be careful with that one. I feel like that would be a good paper to punch out shapes with and coil or curl up and things like that. It would be easier like that. Thank you. To the edge. Okay. Then we're going to get to the nitty gritty. We're going to be making a quick, hopefully, a quick book. Because I have roughly 40 minutes or so. So as you all know, I said the card looks it's prefabricated. We're just gonna cut it down a little bit. Have y'all noticed that the craft stores really have kind of been slacking though in general? I went to Michael's and I wasn't very impressed. I guess it depends on what you're looking for from the stores too, like what you go in there to have them provide for you craft wise. So maybe I, I'm I've met my craft wise. They can fulfill fulfill this whatever. Cause lately it's been a no. Except for clearance items. Um, you know, I'm always I'm out that life. But the thrift store has kind of been my, oh, I'm going to go to the thrift store. Oh, my goodness. They have this at the thrift store. It's so funny. I got a Tim Holtz paper pad from the thrift store. And they had some other junk in there. And the Tim Holtz paper pad was the little thing that they were selling. It was um, five bucks, I believe. Whereas 
a regular paper pad that was trying to sell it for like seven dollars or something and i was like you guys must not know who tim holtz is and i appreciate your your ignorance in that matter thank you thank you very much i appreciate it i always try to you know get the tags haven't been craft store shopping in a while wow have you been crafting I know scrapbook.com has a sale right now. I haven't bought anything, but I want to get some of that tape. I keep saying, and it's like, get all your adhesive supplies, blah, 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 blah. I was like, let me check it out. I'm going to check, check it out later. Let's see. Let's see what sentiment we can use. I wish you lived next door. I may not be with you, but I'm always here for you. Thanks for being a good man. A good man is something you do. Thank you. I don't have a sentiment, though. I guess we could put that funky sentiment on there. The weird one that I think is weird. I just wanted to try to answer Wonder and Dreamer's thoughts about sentiments. Cause she, I'm not sentiments about cards. Cause she had said that she couldn't, nothing was popping to mind, and she said she didn't want to case a card, but nothing she thought of, she couldn't think of anything herself. So I was like, well, shoot, I probably cased the card then. And even though I didn't case it, it does look like theirs, this one. But I like this one. I also, even though we did a masking card, I've the one that they have shows the boobs in pink. So if you are into pink shoes, they have one for you, you know. I'm not in the pink shoes, but if they had a pink shoe that I would like, I probably would buy it. Not going to lie. This thing right here, though, I like it. A lot. I like it a lot. I meant to ink the edge up, meant to ink the edge up, did not ink anything up. I saw that Gemini, Crafters Companion, has a new machine. I don't plan on buying it, but I did see a new one. Those boots would be good on a veteran card. On a, yes, they would be. Although, yeah, I guess so. Because I think the Air Force and the Army wear shoes like this. Yeah, that'd be cute. I'm scared to cut it down with my hand. That's why I keep getting a um, trimmer. <laughs> ah. If 
y'all didn't know, there's another clearance going on at Hobby Lobby. I went there yesterday, not to go to the clearance, but to um, buy some stuff. They didn't have the some stuff I was looking for, so I didn't go clearance shopping. It's all like ribbons and things like that. So if you're into making ribbons and stuff like that, bows, you may be able to find some. You probably know about it. And you just didn't tell me about it. I don't appreciate that. But it's all good. Heather, you buy a lot of stuff from um, online. Do you like Frantic Stamper? I always feel like when Wonder and Dreamer does her videos, I'm like, oh. I have to get into Frantic Stamper a little bit more, but I don't. I'm back. Sorry, I had to take a call. The card is adorable. Thank you so much. I hope the phone call was an amazing call and not something bad. The call. No. Dang it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Look, it's okay. It's all right. Nothing to see here. No need to panic. Everything's okay. I love Frank since she has good prices, but she ships. Oh, yeah. You know who I... I don't... First of all, I am not... I can't... I personally can't keep up with all the trends, right? All the craft trends, all the new releases, all the things, all of that. Because... I realize that a lot of the stuff is the same thing, just in a different shape, right? So if you think about it, like the butterflies, the gnomes, the bees, are all the same. They're just a little bit more quirky or are they a little bit more that? And um, I always ask myself, are you going to use it? Are you going to use it? I barely know I hate that when I get useless calls when I'm watching a lot. Yeah. I got a call yet. So <laughs> y'all know that I'm a bit on the confrontational side <laughs> when it comes to certain things, right? Like phone calls. We about to, we about to talk, right? So I got one of those calls from Amazon yesterday. Now I know I haven't ordered anything from Amazon. Uh, and if I have, I've received whatever it is what I, that I ordered. But I got an Amazon call yesterday, right? And I was ready for it because it was like potential spam, right? So I was like, oh, good. I get to, you know, see which idiot is calling me with some dumb stuff, right? Because I was ready. I was about that life at the moment. I was really, really about to, you know, have some fun. So I call and this lady's like, you know, she had an accent. So she was probably from one of those arenas of, Let's see which idiot can get some money. So I'm like, so the phone rings and I'm like, oh, I'm about to mess with him, right? And I was like, hello? And she's like, hello? I was like, yes, hello. And she's like, calling from Amazon. I said, like, yes, uh-huh. And she hangs up on me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, man, I can't have any fun. Like when I get random text messages and stuff, and I told the big roommate this, so I said, when they start calling, you just say, are you calling about my job application? <laughs> are you ready to do the phone interview? <laughs> she knew I had time today. She knew it. So we were in the car. I think it was last week. I like this. I like this spot. Let's uh, go right here. Yeah, we were in the car last week. I think it was last week. Was it last week? Was my birthday last week? I don't know. It was my birthday. Um, and they called. He was like, "Man, I'm tired of this." I was like, "Answer it! Like, answer it!" You know, because I'm 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 about that life. I'm about that silliness, right? And so, um, he didn't want to answer the phone call, but he was like, "Hello," and the, and I said, "Do what I told you to do." And the guy was like, um, "So." I want to try to do these things right here. We're going to make a, a little book real quick, hopefully. Um, we won't use everything in here, but these are the things that I want to use these flowers out of here. So that's what the goal is now. Um, so he answers the phone and, and the guy on the phone, he was like, yeah, are you calling about my uh, application? And the guy was like, for a job? 
And the big room is like, yeah. And the guy was like, uh. <laughs> I tell you, if they're going to call an ex stupid with you, you need to call and just be as dumb as they are. Like if they calling you about your extended car warranty, you'd be like, oh my God, I'm so glad that you'll still do it because I just had a car accident um, and the police are outside right now. I don't know how you knew. And they'll hang up. Like they won't, if you start getting them back, they won't bother y'all. You can't let them have all the dang fun. So I just pulled out five cards. It's 50 in this thing. I do plan on going to Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Joanne's when they have the, the prefabricated cards on sale. I prefer to buy them prefabricated. Heather has inspired me to want to make my own. But this is just one less step of me being stressed out about it. So we got, um, we have one, two, three, four, five. So we're only going to do three cards, y'all, because I don't want to um, be here too long because I do need to leave on time. I don't want to get charged. Let Amazon call me. I'll be like, yeah, what? Exactly. Y'all can't be like, oh, no. this. And then for the people that may be a little bit more mature. Now, if you haven't ordered an Amazon product, you you should not be getting duped into thinking Amazon is calling you because of a project. And, uh, you know, a product. You can't let them get over on you like that. There's a few things that we could do to fail safe. I've been duped before. So when I tell you I speak from experience, I'm speaking from experience. Uh, we're going to cut this down to five inches really quickly. So I, I've been I've been gotten before via PayPal. And I'm going to cut this down to one half. And then my PayPal was messed up. Credit, it was just, it was a mess. So when I tell y'all, y'all got to get them back, get them back. Don't let them run you away. Um, you know, don't let them take all of your happiness by trying to dupe you out of stuff. All right, so we're going to go ahead and um, do half an inch. I haven't did this in a while, so please bear with me. Ugh. Every half inch. Oh, when they call you, be like, is this Charlie? Wish they would stop texting me. You know what? I got a text message. Let me show y'all. Let me see if I didn't delete it. I got a text message from somebody. Let's see. So I got this text message from somebody. Hi, Brandy Tammy with Black Voters. I don't even know how they know I'm Black. Who told them I was Black, first of all? And I wrote them. So this was March the 28th. I put, are you hiring? And then they wrote me again. I said, is this company taking applications? I'm telling you, I if they going to send me some dumb messages, I'm sending them dumb messages back. I promise you. You are not about to be harassing me. I'm, I have time. I have time to say, are you hiring? Did you get my application? Are you when are you setting up the phone interview? Don't be bothering me. So I just write them back. I know that's probably not always the best way to deal with it, especially for people that don't have uh, a good understanding that these people are harassing you. Like if you're sending me something about voting, please, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. So we're gonna go ahead and um I'm just gonna call this up right here and then squeeze this up there are many ways to do this so we got one two so one flat up flat up let's see how many i made we may be able to just use all the cards so we got four flat up yeah so we can do four that's not the best way, but it sure is fun. They're always trying to buy my house or junk cars. Exactly. Be like, oh my goodness, did you get, are you still buying? 
I promise you, like, if they're going to go out and buy junk cars and sell you extended warranty and all that crap, you might as well. You already didn't answer the dang on phone. You might as well have some fun with them. No, it's not the best way to deal with it, but they'll leave you alone for a little bit. Because I feel like if you put your name on a national um, do not call list, I feel like that's just a, hey, guys, here's a list of the next set of people that think that they're on the national call list. Let's go ahead and harass them. I did get a phone call about a month and a half ago that was slightly disturbing. Uh, the person was like, uh, what did she say? Can you help me? They're, they're going to come and get me or something like that. Can you come and get me? They're, they're trying to hurt me or something disturbing like that. And I was like, okay, maybe they just called a random phone number and they are trying to, you know, seek help. So I just called police, not 911, but another number. And the police, I said, this is going to sound weird. Some random number called me and told me this. And the police person was like, uh, call the what number she gave me a phone she told me to call somebody department no some type of federal bureau or something i was like well if they're not taking it serious then i'm not gonna take it serious but i did call the number and um you know i looked it up and called she didn't even give me a phone number asked them today buy junk journals exactly like you got to be like, I, I'm a paper crafter. I craft, I make, I'm, I, you know, I have a home business and I'm trying to sell a bulk supply of X amount of this and it costs this amount of money. Are you into that? Because that's what I do. I just feel like, you know, at some point we got to stop letting these people take from us, you know, our time, our joy, whatever it is. So we're going to go ahead and put T's on the spots that need to be taped just so I don't stress out right now today. Now, this tape came from Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't know if I could say, yes, this is great tape or not. I know you had asked me yesterday, Liz, about it. And um, I think I spent $1.29 on this one. A dollar, Yeah, $1.29. They have three or four different sizes. Um, so, yeah. I do feel like, I feel like, this is just a mental thing, though. I feel like the Hobby Lobby tape should be a better quality tape than a Dollar Tree tape, if that makes any sense. Uh, but, you know, a dollar twenty-nine, a dollar twenty-five, almost the same price. Eh? Totally up to the buyer and what you're trying to do with it. I am going to put a small bead of glue because I don't trust the tape. Just so you, yeah. You know what's always disturbing the F and 30 message and voicemail with a woman saying just in, now you know what I have called the phone company my phone company I was like hello how do I stop voicemail and of course they're like oh you can't stop voicemail with your plan I was like listen I don't want to answer any more voicemail calls okay so I need for you to set it up that if people call me they can't leave a voicemail and she was like okay <laughs> I understand now. I was like, thank you. I'm just going to put a slight amount of glue right on the seam of those two spots. Yeah, I don't have voicemail for that very reason. And so people are always like, I tried to leave you a voicemail, but I couldn't. I'm like, yep, you're right. What's up? How can I help you? And then when people say, oh, I left you a voicemail, I'm like, you didn't call me because I don't have voicemail. And they're like, huh? I say I don't have, I haven't had voicemail since 2012. So you're lying. You're a liar. <laughs> now text messages. 
voicemails are so 90s. Um, it's for businesses, though. Businesses need them. Like if I'm calling and making an appointment. But now the they'll send you a text message. I, but you got to realize, Pink Bay, older people were lived in the 90s. Not a lot of people have. Some people still don't have computers in their household. And some people use landlines. You know, those old things that go on the wall and you stand by there. And you use, I have a landline. But I stopped. I unconnected because my son was calling me and his sister and his daddy. And I was like, listen, you cannot keep doing this. This is not healthy for my mental health if you're going to call and harass me while I'm not home. <laughs> no, no, no. You are not a business, but the business needs to call you and leave a message. The doctor's offices do it. Voicemail is some form of accountability for the person providing you that service. Right? Like if you call someone and you need to get in touch with them and they're not available they want you to leave a voicemail you know what kids i swear <laughs> kids these days you'll never understand the old ways until we're forced to use the old ways again which i see happening like, I see that, you know, a lot of people, a lot of countries are on the whole TikTok banning thing. So this one lady was like, listen, if TikTok get banned, here I am. You can fetch, catch me on this spot. You can catch me on this spot. I was like, ooh, she's setting up. She waiting. I don't have TikTok. I had Instagram. I don't have Instagram anymore. But if I ever get it back, it won't be Llama Lefty list. <laughs> so I'm just going to burnish this tape down. All right, so we need four envelopes versus the three that I originally said. Oh, no. Ah, uh, okay. I'm about to say, did I do this wrong? Nope. My mind was playing tricks on me. One, two. <laughs> it will not be Llama Lefty. But I don't want another app on my phone. Chris and I talk about this all the time. She's like, do you have this app for this spot? I'm like, no. Do you have this app for this spot? I'm like, I don't want another application on my phone. Please, no. And she's like, suit yourself. They give discounts. I'm like, can I just not get another app and still get the discount? That's what happened with me and um, Joanne Fabric, right? So, you know, on Joanne, you get a, you get a coupon on the app, the Joanne app. Of course, if it's a crafting app, we can talk, right? Um, and then I also got an email. So Joanne has sent an email for 50% off. So I got two 50% off coupons at one time. I was happy. Yep. It will not be Llama Lefty. That's all I'm saying, honey. But I don't think I'll be getting another uh, Instagram. So I'm going to write a little bit up the seam. The fold, the crease. The tape don't want to act right. That's okay. Not the tape. It's the operator, I'm sure. The tape is just sitting there laying there like I ain't did nothing. That's you. That's all on you, ma'am. You're right, tape. I want to take this one for the team tape. <laughs> all right. First one is on. Just gonna do a little bit more burnishing down. Now, I'm not a 
big fan of adhesive um, being super duper reliable, but I also can't put the tape down straight. So, you know, I can't put the thing on the tape straight. I have an issue. So, <laughs> I have to um, rely on my good vision to do this. And I wear glasses. So, I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. Again, try not to put it right on the fold. If you put it on the fold, it's going to make it harder to fold the book. Ask me how I know. I learned the hard way. I think HSN is coming out with their next craft day or something like that. I haven't purchased any HSN product, craft products from HSN in a little while. I still haven't got the, the daggone embossing, the folder from Crafters Companion. I'm going to have to write them and then act the full lesson. Be like, I've spent X amount of dollars on this com with this company and the customer service was impeccable. I'm not sure what has transpired, but I don't like my current dealings. I haven't received this thing in X amount of time. No one's done a follow-up email. Yes, I'm going to have to ask to speak to the manager. I see. I try not to take it to social media though, like going to Facebook group and like, listen, ah, blah, 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 blah. I just feel like that's inappropriate. I still want to just have three versus four. Hmm. Yep, yeah, we're just going to stick with three. cut this one you know I went to open up a Twitter account and someone was using my email address for their Twitter uh, excuse you they crazy then I went to fix my tumblr that's a video gaming situation and they was like, you do naughty stuff. You cannot be a part of the Tumblr community. I had to send them a message. Letting them know that I wasn't a naughty girl. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I swear. And that's why I don't want another app. So we just folded that over. We're just going to work out great for me because we only have three versus four. And these cards can live to see another creation. So I'm just burnishing down with my fingers. And that's how it looks. Now what we're going to do is snip a little bit right here. Actually, no, no, never mind. So I need another piece of paper. Piece of paper, not Peter paper. Piece of paper. Thought I had a Peter paper. Nope. How much trash do y'all make when y'all craft? Like, not actual trash crafting, but extra stuff. I make a lot. Like, I have all the strips, extra. I could have, oh, I used it, huh? No, I couldn't have used it. I don't know. A lot of trash. Yeah, all that extra junk. For why? I need this to be five, apparently. No, that's wrong. Hello. 
This is seven. Gotta be seven. Yeah. I had knocked over a pile of stuff and I looked at it and I was like, really? You need to start using your scraps up. I know a lot of people have scrap video, you know, like they do scraps and stuff like this. Is this one inch? Oh, wow. One whole inch. Imagine that. Mm -mm -mm. This feels too small. Perfect almost. Um, but I, I don't know. I can't like set out and be like, I'm going to use my scraps today because I just kind of, when it comes to scraps, I just have to feel it. We're going to reinforce the spine one, one more time. It is some adhesive on one side of the thing. And I'm just going to peel that off and then apply this and let this sit and dry while we work on our papers. And I think I want some, just some plain sides on here. So I pull the tape off. I'm just applying this little back on here. Do you throw it in the trash, Heather? You have a trash, uh, not this trash, but you know, like this kind of trash. Do you use it? You put it to the side. What? I always tell me, use it. Get end up on the floor. I'm like, well, it's in the trash now. Burnishing this down some more, making sure we got glue on all of the stuff that needs to have glue on it. Now I'm just going to work the pages some. The pens mostly use it up. Or, yeah. One of my friends took all her scraps and die cut paper punch. I was like, I, I'm not doing that. Because sometimes like this little scrap right here, I can use a tag. I can make it into a tag and then I'll use it like that. But other than that, no, 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 no. All right, y'all. I'm going to show you what the plan is. And I don't know if I have enough mo emotional or mental strength to do this today tomorrow we'll probably just end up doing it next tuesday because i have to be leaving in a few minutes um but i want to go for some soft colors so you can see like right here those colors and then i can use these greens if, if need be it's going to be a florally situation And I'm gonna show you the paper pad. We're gonna we're gonna pull out the paper pad papers today, though, just because um, we need to do that. Now, I did buy this from Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance, so I thought these papers were really pretty. And I'm thinking this one right here, but let's take a quick look. It's so funny, you end up, op I don't know about y'all, but I end up opening a paper pad using like five sheets, if that, out of it. And then the paper pad kind of goes into oblivion for a while before I use it again. But for $5 and some change, I was like, ooh, that's a good deal. Did I really need the paper pad? Probably not. I think that's where I'm at, kinda, kinda, when it comes to craft stuff. Not, I haven't got that with beads yet, because I'm like, oh, I need more beads, I need more beads, I need more beads. I'm definitely that with fat yarn. I don't buy any yarn at all, unless it's for a specific project. Like, I bought some white yarn when I made those little ghosts for the spooky, uh, what was it, creepy, thir keep it 13. Halloween on the 13th or something like that last year for that um, collaboration video that Jessica Marvel co-hosted. I had went and got that. I really wanted it. And I actually had bought it for something else too. I had bought it for some Christmas trees. 
that I thought was really cool. I think I shared that with y'all. But this is the paper. When I saw this, I was like, this is very Floridian in my head, right? Tropical. I feel like Florida is the United States tropics, right? Because then you can just go across the water, so to speak, and go to other places. But look, this would be good to scan and cut, not fussy cut, honey. But these lines are nice. Remember I told you any paper pad that don't have lines in it, run. Lines are dots. This would be good to uh, die cut out too. But I think this way might be a good sheet of paper to use and this orange strawberries very crafty these right here pomegranates some watermelon these blues those blues could go good in a good masculine card but this is a good page too i think so let's see one Two. I just did all that work for two sheets of paper. Wow. All right. And I won't cut it on cam this paper on camera because we're going to need to do that whole uh, little trick method. Turn, cut, turn, cut, turn, cut. But we need two, four, six. So we got, we can go two, four. Even though we'll get four sheets out of here, I don't want to use those. I wanted to use a solid color. So let's look at this again. These can go well together. I think we could be able to pull out some of those colors too. So maybe a solid sheet of paper would go good. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. These probably won't fit in the theme though, because these don't look like these flowers. They might. We'll see. Anyway, uh, we'll work on this. Had to go. Have a great time. I got to go, too. Thank you all. Um, thank you for coming. I hope you have a good day. Rest of your day at work, ma'am. So I want to say thank you all for watching. I hope that you have a safe rest of your week. And I'll see you here next Tuesday. Let's have a medical appointment. And I'll put it in the community chat section. So thank you for watching. Until next time, happy crafting. Thanks for the hugs, Heather.